the Toronto Arrows, like all the teams in Major League Rugby, a special kit this week. You see the different look from these two teams. Match they played in round nine that was won by Atlanta, Madison. Yeah, really, oh, wow, big great hit going straight through the middle. You're not kidding, here comes Rugby ATL, and they get it free, came out of the hands there of their nine, Ryan Reed. Fourth minute of the match. Home team trying to get on the board. Went short there to Yancey Van Rensburg. Another effort there between the post. No signal yet. They're short. They try it a second time in this one. They get through and get it down. Small little pops from the base, driving, getting those leg drive. Uh, and that's where Atlanta are really strong. And Momsen's able to touch it down. And Atlanta. Crouch. Ross Brody, the scrum half for Five. Toronto, will play it in. Six. It went through a handful of men at that position, mainly due to injury this season. Penalty called against Rugby ATL. Fourth in MLR, 79 points. 31 penalty goal kicks for him on the season. Make it 32. He had three in that victory I mentioned. Get more minutes and develop his game. And some will tell you that he might be their MVP this year in their organization. Brody chips one over the top. ATL to it, but Anselmi blowing this dead. They can forget about the postseason. Atlanta, they win, they're in. The right kick from Malcolm. And Sam Malcolm doing his part again. Play to the back. Brody there. Puts it into the hands of Cole Keith, the number one, the prop up front. Arrows. Deepest penetration they've had. You heard on Selmy, advantage is over. Down to the five meter they go. And that's Andrew Quatrin, who scored a try in their big win over New England two Thursdays ago. Short. Nancy von Rensburg, the tackle. Toronto gets it free. A couple of meters away from the try line. Trying to charge in. Looks like they're pushed back a meter or so there. Spun free. Trying to get it out wide now. They've got something to the outside and to the line. And Sheridan got over there. And Toronto comes through and they cap it off with a play from Sheridan. And here we go. We see the put down. Reaching for the line. Did yeah, it come out though? Yeah, I mean, I think okay. the rules of rugby okay, have okay. slightly evolved in kind of the last decade or so, where as long as your hand, the ball, and the that. ground are kind of okay. all touching each other at the same time, that's a good put down. And I know you watched the game Atlanta played last week. They came out early in that match the way they did. This one off the post, and it goes through. Brody in there again, but they're right on it is ATL. No room for them to run, do anything. Wait that split second, and Atlanta have shown so far that they're able to cover pretty much everything Toronto's thrown at them, but giving away those penalties enables Windsor and enables Toronto to just continue tacking up more points on the scoreboard. Although it could bounce and go anywhere, you never want to let the ball bounce. The worst mistake, though, you can make is to touch it and then you have it go out. Off the line out, Toronto gets it. Not a well-executed start, but they get it. Let's check in with Tammy with some injury updates. Tammy. All right, I'm standing here next to the Atlanta bench, and... There's another try from Toronto. Sorry about that, Tammy. We've got to get back to you on that. Brody takes it in, and Toronto increasing the lead. The arrows are point on so far. Here we go back from the lineup. Yeah, I mean, it's a mistake from the lineup, but sometimes the most dangerous ball can be a bouncing one. Uh, good, clean, well cleaned up from Toronto, and then it's just a mistake from the Atlanta defense. They just... The guys on the outside just stepping up, and it's you tend to put front row forwards right around the breakdown, and it's a gap between, it looks like, a second row and the replacement prop just stepping forward, opens up the gap for Brody, and he doesn't need a second invitation. But what an absolutely huge momentum addition there. I guess Toronto already had the momentum. Brody, a fantastic try and huge for Toronto. So here's Malcolm, who's having... Um, do have a couple new forwards, as we've mentioned, in, so that might change just how they do this, um, but... 
good opportunity here for Atlanta. One of those forwards, the hooker that put that ball in, Erasmus. Momsen went up to get it. John Sullivan, the other forward, wearing number 18. He came in for J.R. Jenkinson toward the line. Can they get it down? Following behind, they do. On Selmy right there, and it's put down by one of those guys you just mentioned. Erasmus got it down, and Rugby ATL with a big try there. It was right over the line, and then just able to drop down and gets the gets the try. He nails his throw, gets on the ball. Atlanta set up them all really, really well. I mean, it was with Austin. Went back to Houston last year, signed by ATL in the offseason as Coleman puts the right foot to it. Toe meets Leather and the flags go no. Toronto have really controlled the majority this first half. Mm -hmm. Atlanta just scored, so we'll see if they can add to that as we get into this last minute. Eaton came down with the ball. The Canadian playing against his homeland team is Matt Heaton, number seven. He didn't play in the first meeting in round nine, was injured. But in this one. A match that Rugby ATL trying to win to get back into the postseason. And go after that shield again. Lost last year to the Giltinis in the final. That was Momsen. Reese gets in quick. They get it out. Trying to work through it. A little fake there. Coleman, beautiful job. He took a look, went the other way. And Kurt Coleman gets it down. And it's 23 19 rugby ATL on the comeback here late in the first half. Atlanta dominated the first couple minutes and then the last five minutes, first five minutes and last five minutes of the half, uh, and to leave it pretty much tied. I mean, this was a funny one. Atlanta just going forward with their forwards. It comes back to Coleman, and it looks like he doesn't know where to go. He's looking for different options, and sometimes when there are no options, that's when the field can just part in front of you and opens up a gap. Atlanta just slowing it down, using their forwards. It was a nice little delayed pass to Momsen, enabled them to get on the front foot. Coming back to Coleman here, and as he looks, the Atlanta defense has a really good job of coming up, getting in his passing channels, and then it just fragments, and you've got to converge on the ball. Enabled Coleman to go through, and now for all their dominance, Atlanta are going to go into the half. Sorry, for all their dominance, Toronto are going to go into the half. Only two points ahead, and this game is so finely poised. Such an important one for both teams, and it could go anywhere in the second half. And they're a little bit of sitting ducks. He particularly he got quite high, and Toronto just, sorry, Atlanta just saying, hey, we can come through and really put a good shot on him. Looked to be legal to me, the, the, that, that particular yeah. impact, but uh, yeah, got him, got him lying on the ground in some pain. So rugby ATL from the lineup. They played into Connor Keys. You hear Anselmi telling Four to be careful in there. Advantage being played here for ATL. Here they come with speed, and they break through there. A move to the inside, and it's taken in and done it down. Waitakia took it home. Rugby ATL back on top here early on in the second half. In the more so Toronto went in, brought this down illegally. That gives Atlanta the advantage. They move it wide, get it in the hands of Waitakia, and that's a fantastic little double sidestep. And here, it looks to be covered by Malcolm, steps back on his inside, and what a fantastic individual play from Waitakia, and that's an absolutely fantastic bit of magic. And what Atlanta really have been looking for for so much of this match is one of their guys to step up, really grab this game by the crux, grab it by the scruff of the neck. Chip shot there, as I like to say. It's up, man. The flags go north, and it's 28-23. A win for them. They're in the playoffs. Up in the air, and unable to gather that in was Atlanta for ATL. They're now on top here by five, looking to make it eight. Coleman's kick is up and good. ATL working through them pretty strong here, Madison. Looking good, this march down the pitch. And yeah, starting to put a bit more pace into their attack. These breakdowns are going more quickly than they had been kind of in the preceding 10 minutes, so that's what Atlanta needs to see. De La Vega Mendia is looking at toe meets leather, and that one is up and through right down Peachtree. A man that has scored nine tries this season, Marco Yancey von Rensburg. They also lost, J lost J.R. Jenkinson. Rowan House gets it to the back. There's the kick, and that will do it. Rugby ATL, they can go after the shield once again this season as they win the match 34-23.